Meghan Markle may struggle to secure a pathway into a political career after alienating herself from large parts of the U.S. while exposing her allies, a royal expert has said. There has been a great deal of speculation about whether the Duchess will make the leap into U.S. politics after previously campaigning on issues such as lobbying for paid parental leave. Royal expert Kenzie Schofield, host of the Today for Daily podcast, discussed the possibility of the 41-year-old royal running for office in 2024. It comes after exclusive polling for Express.co.uk by the Washington-based Democracy Institute found 64% of respondents felt the party should opt for a female candidate at the next presidential election in two years. Meghan came first in the list of potential runners, with 27% in the poll of 1,500 likely Democrat voters. But Anne Schofield told Express.co.uk she doesn't believe the Duchess would get very far after finding herself being rejected by large parts of the U.S. She said, Meghan has done an incredible job alienating a large portion of the country by exposing her political allies. The United States is toxic when it comes to politics and communication. Few are invested in the monarchy and all were eager to envelop the Sussexes with open arms. However, the second Meghan started appearing on panels with Stacey Abrams, Hillary Clinton, and Kamala Harris, she found herself rejected by half of the country. M. Schofield added that PR-wise, appearing with key political figures was a huge feel for the Duchess of Sussex. Since leaving the UK and moving to the US, Meghan has involved herself in various soft political campaigns and has been associated with high-profile Democrats such as Hillary Clinton and the Biden family. Earlier this year, President Biden's sister, Valerie Biden Owens, publicly declared the Duchess would be welcome to join the Democrat Party. M. Zoans, speaking with the hosts of Good Morning Britain, also said Meghan would make a good potential candidate for president one day. Prince Harry and Meghan are also believed to be friends with Hillary Clinton, who met baby Archie at Frogmore Cottage when he was just six months old. During their time in the royal household, Harry and Meghan also hired Mrs. Clinton's former campaign advisor, Sarah Latham to head their communications team. Discussing reports of the couple's high-status friends, M. Schofield said, Meghan never misses an opportunity to use someone with a bigger platform to elevate her own. But despite claiming Meghan's political plans may be in tatters due to alienating half the country, the royal expert still believes the Sussexes would like to get more involved in state affairs as they recognize politics as power.